Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, so let's talk about Litecoin in this video. I just wanted to cover Litecoin real quick. Um, since the last video I made, Litecoin had a really nice run. Uh, we were talking about this. Uh, I'm looking at the weekly right now. So let's just go to daily view um, and do a quick recap on based on what we talked about last time so in the previous videos that I made on Litecoin I talked about this inverse head and shoulder pattern that was spotted back in December uh, December uh, and you know we had a breakout from that and there was a neckline right around $1.35 uh, and I mentioned that if we can get out of this with some nice volume uh, then we can see some uh, momentum in Litecoin and that's exactly what we're seeing right now so that was the nice inverse head and shoulder pattern that we saw we broke the neckline around 35 then we had some volume that came into month of February and then we went over the 200 day moving average now what we are seeing is we are coming up against a lot of traffic a lot of uh, congestion that we uh, encountered back in September October time frame so if you remember August to November there was a lot of we broke down from July August and then there was a lot of uh, a lower base that was built right around that um, August and November time frame um, so let's just uh, where is that drawing tool if I can get this um, no not this one um, okay I let me see I, if I can find it um, yeah maybe this one okay yeah so this is the this is the congestion that I'm talking about okay this is the congestion that happened back in um, back in the August to November time frame in Litecoin then we broke out uh, broke down uh, and then we made that uh, you know a low lows around twenty four dollar in Litecoin so we are coming up against uh, this congestion that took place back um, in uh, you know summer of 2018 uh, so it, it will take some time to like get through that congestion and on top of that what is going on if you look at the weekly chart um, so this is the weekly chart right now that I'm showing uh, we are coming up against the 50-day moving average on the weekly chart which, which is around Sixty-eight dollars. All right, so um, that will give you uh, some resistance. So do keep that in mind. That the leg that we had from the bottom of twenty-four dollars in Litecoin, we are coming up against the uh, um, the major resistance, uh, which is going to be around uh, sixty-eight dollars. And that also, um, you know, pens. It's also in parallel parallel with um, the previous high of a light coin uh, which was um, right around that 68 mark uh, and the support that we encountered back in July so around 68 dollar there will be a lot of resistance so do keep that in mind in Litecoin we are about 10 dollar away from it right now but it is coming up and you probably do want to keep that in mind okay um, so uh, all in all Litecoin is it is like looking um, it is looking good but we are coming up against resistance and that to add on to uh, resistance that is coming up in a lot of other uh, coins like Bitcoin if I look at Bitcoin right now uh, you know we are up against this major resistance of this trend line if we can get through this trend line with some um, with some volume you will see a nice breakout in uh, you know Bitcoin and we will go toward 5000 instantly um, I'm gonna say this again if we can break out of this resistance in Bitcoin we will go toward 5,000 pretty fast okay um, that is a very very uh, good possibility okay um, now if we do not break through this resistance then I'm afraid there is gonna be a uh, you know people will start pulling the money out and then we will find some support around 70 uh, 3700 then around uh, then around 3500 uh, and then there's a massive support right around you know 3400 uh, in Bitcoin all right so Bitcoin uh, just to recap on Bitcoin we are against uh, major resistance right now from this trend line that was coming all the way from the 2018 but if we can break out of it if we can break through this resistance and some of the moving average the 20-day moving average on the weekly we can easily go toward uh, the next uh, target in Bitcoin which is around 5000 pretty soon all right uh, and that can set up uh, nicely for another leg up 
uh, and that will be around 56, 5800 in Bitcoin. All right. So going back to Litecoin, we are up against resistance. Uh, not quite there right now, but we are almost there. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Tighten up your stop losses. Make sure that if you are, if you got in really early in, you know, in Litecoin around 24, 26. I know a lot of people did. So make sure you are pulling out your, you know, um, your capital, your initial capital that uh, you know you are. I mean, you should be up 100% right now. And if you haven't pulled out already then uh, think about pulling that your initial capital out and you know um, then you know play with the house money right that's you never go wrong you never go bro broke playing with the house money so I hope uh, people who have already made a major move in uh, Litecoin and made some significant amount of uh, profit are like thinking about it and like you know um, you know, uh, see, there's all. I'm gonna say this again. I always have said, uh, people who have been with the channel for a long time know about it. Bulls makes money, bear, bears makes money, but hogs they get slaughtered. So don't be a hog, all right? If you have the nice profit, book that profit. You know, pay pay your rent, pay your car payment, pay your mortgage, whatever you need to. So that money is as good as like you know you are investing in something else. So. Uh, don't don't be one of those guys who are just hogging on to it and then you realize that you are uh, turning that profit into loss because I'm telling you that if you if you have if you talk to enough people in crypto who have been trading for uh, last two three years they will tell you that they have made thousands thousands of dollars in like uh, in profit I'm talking about even thousands of percentage in profit and then they let that go and it turned into loss uh, it's kind of really unfortunate scenarios but uh, it how it has happened so uh, don't be one of those guys so uh, please do remember uh, those things all right uh, that's all for today guys let me know if you have any question post it in the comment um, send me an email if you have any other questions uh, if you want me to take a look at your portfolio please feel uh, free to email me that I'm still doing that and uh, if you have any other uh, coins that you want me to cover uh, then uh, post it in the comment all right um, you know uh, one thing that I always want to mention is like you know, um, uh, don't don't be uh, greedy. Make sure you are letting the market come to you, and you just you know doing your risk management really, uh, really well. That will really save you in the long term investing. All right, um, that's all, guys. Um, talk to you soon.